guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is gonna be all about my current top favorite foundations. If you guys have been with me for a while and you notice some of like my all-time favorite foundations aren't featured in this video, that may just be because I'm kinda calming down, chilling out in the back for a bit and giving these the spotlight, but these have been my current go-to foundations for the last couple of months, so I thought they deserved a video of their own. Also, I'm gonna go ahead and apologize now for any sniffling. I've been sick for like the past week and the congestion is just like, finally starting to break up and so I know it's gross. I hate hearing people sniffle. I tried my best to like, you know, blow everything out before this video started, which I know sounds so disgusting. But if I'm sniffling, I'm sorry. I'm trying my best. So before we get into the foundations, I just wanna give you a quick rundown of my skin type. Before I used to be really, really dry, I feel like with oils and constant moisturizing and like basically masking it up every night, my skin has gotten better. So overall, I would say the current state is more combination. Um, your skin does tend to like change and go through different phases as you age. I will say my cheeks for the most part are they're not as dry as they used to be I would say they're more on the normal side pretty much my face is all normal except for down my t-zone just like many other people I do tend to get a bit greasy not greasy but like greasy you know like how your nose gets really shiny but other than that I would say my skin is more I guess combination slash normal so then I would go ahead and break down these foundations from kind of like least coverage to like full-on full coverage so I would say for the most part, a lot of these foundations will work for you whether you are dry or oily. If there's something that is very dewy, I'll go ahead and give you the heads up and just you oily girls may just be like, Meh, not for that one. Okay, so starting off with something I guess that's more of like a day-to-day -day light wear. This is the Dr. Jart Premium BB Beauty Balm. I love this, it has SPF 45. This is what I wear whenever I'm just like running errands or if I have to go do PTO stuff at the school and I don't wanna put on a full face of makeup, I'll do like brows, mascara, and this. Something about the texture of this formula I feel like does a great job of kind of like minimizing the appearance at the pores that's like, combining appearance and pores, if you're wondering. Um, the appearance of your pores, it does have like a slight, slight gel-like, not fully silicone, but it just has this like gel-like feeling, not quite as like moussey as some other BB creams out there. So it does a great job of kind of like blurring any enlarged pores and the coverage is nice enough to where it just kind of evens everything out on my skin. So any blotchiness or hyperpigmentation I have, it just kind of like makes everything one color. My only complaint though is that this only comes in like I think two shades. There's light, medium, and then medium deep. So if you're a woman of color or if you're super, super pasty, it's like if you're on either side of the spectrum, you're probably gonna have a hard time with this which I know is super annoying, but if you're more kind of like fair, I would say I'm definitely more light right now, um, maybe like light to medium or like a richer medium, you may be able to get away with medium deep, but there's lots of other BB creams and lighter weight products you probably can find out there that have a better color range. So this is kind of my go-to day-to-day foundation. Now, something that is definitely more, I would say, light coverage, but buildable to a light medium that I love. I think this is a foundation that's definitely kind of like middle of the line. People either love it or they hate it. There's not really like a so-so population, at least not that I've really heard of. This is the Becca Aqua Luminous Perfecting Foundation. I'm currently using the shade Beige. If you guys have never seen this one, it comes in a glass container. You twist off the top and then you lift it up and it just has a nice dropper application. As you can see, it is incredibly thin and runny. My favorite way to apply it is with the Becca Perfecting Brush, that huge like paint brush looking monstrosity. I love this foundation during the summer. It gives your skin a gorgeous, natural, glowy look. If you're on the oily side, you would probably want some sort of mattifying found, or not foundation, primer, get it together, girl, before applying this onto your face, just because it is pretty dewy and it kind of stays dewy on your skin, but I love that. In fact, when I use this, I use this as my base shade, and then I'll, or base, Beige is the name, my base shade. Clearly it's been a while since I've recorded a video. But then I will go in with like rich or tan, deep, something like that, one of the deeper shades, and I will use that to kind of contour my face. You just have this gorgeous glow from within look without being glittery. It's just like a true dewy product. It's so, so pretty. And I really like foundations that feel very light on the face. I don't like something that feels like 
heavy and moussey. I know so many people love the Tarte Amazonian Clay or Amazonian Perfecting Clay Foundation, something like that. It's the one in the brown tube that's very, very moussey. The coverage of that stuff is incredible, but anything that has that really whipped moussey feel, I just don't like the way it feels on my face. Like I feel like it's just sitting on top of my skin. Whereas a lot of the foundations that I have here, I feel like they kind of like melt in and become one with the skin and just feel so much better and like lively and pretty, at least my personal opinion. Next up, I have the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Plus. I have the original formula, which is in the silver tube, and then I have the CC Plus Illumination. Right now, I'm kind of mixing light and medium just because I haven't self-tanned at all, and I have been like basically bathing in sunscreen, so I'm incredibly peisty. But I love this stuff. For being a CC cream, it's definitely full coverage. You can definitely build it up to full. I would say just upon first application with the first layer, you definitely have more of a medium slash full, depending what you consider full. If you're thinking full, it's like erase everything on your face. Like, I mean, even like the darkest freckle, then you may say this is more medium coverage, but it definitely is buildable to full. Overall, from talking to other people who have used these products, it seems like people definitely tend to prefer the original formula. For me, I actually really like the illumination. I like anything that's glowy and dewy on the skin. However, I have heard complaints saying that people see the actual like flecks of shimmer and glitter in this. I have yet to see that. Maybe if I had like a 10 times magnified mirror and was out in the sun, I'd see a couple specks. But for me personally, I've worn this plenty of times like filming and stuff and I've never heard anyone be like, girl, your face is glittery. So I really love the illumination, but both are amazing. If I'm wanting something more dewy and lightweight, but still have, I'd say about a medium coverage, I love the L'Oreal True Match Lumi. There's the original True Match as well. If you're more on the oily side, you may prefer that one over this formula. But for me personally, I love the Lumi. I have mine in San Beige W5 Warm. This would probably be a smidge dark on me right now. I always compare this to the Bobbi Brown Skin Foundation. So if you're fans of that one, which if you guys have been with me for a while, you know I love that foundation. I still do, but this is definitely a more affordable option of it. And I think overall, when it comes to drugstore foundations, L'Oreal does a great job with the color range. It's nice because they break it down from cool, neutral, and warm tones, but then just the variety of shades that are available is great. So if you're looking for something to like build your kit, or if you just like to have like multiple shades, I think L'Oreal is a great way to go. Should have a couple more L'Oreal foundations in here. I think these are the two newest from L'Oreal. I have the Infallible Pro Matte, which this one has been out for a while now. I feel like almost everybody loves this foundation. This is definitely like a buildable full coverage, I would say. Just like the IT Cosmetics, it starts more as like medium full, but you can definitely build it up to full. I was surprised that I like this as much as I did just because I typically stay away from things that are extremely mattifying just because for my skin type, I prefer something a little bit more glowy and dewy just because it gives you that more youthful look in my opinion. And this doesn't really like dry you out like many other matte foundations tend to. I have this in 103 Natural Buff, and then recently they came out with the Infallible Pro Glow. I like this one on its own. I like this one on its own as well. Probably not quite as much, but I'll tell you what I love to do is combine the two. This mixture is phenomenal. Like, it's the best of both worlds, honestly. So even if you're oily and you find this to be almost like too... I don't know how many people actually find this too mattifying, but if you still like a little bit of glow to your skin and you're oily, I would recommend trying this combination of mixing the two. It's flawless, it's gorgeous, it still lasts just as long. I don't notice anything like breaking down like in the little creases, or sometimes lots of foundations can tend to break down like on your nose. If you're noticing that and you use like a silicone based primer, I always recommend kind of skipping that part on your nose just because that can almost create additional slip on there where the foundation will just like wipe right off. So something really full coverage from the drugstore. This is one that doesn't really get quite as much love. This is the Rimmel Lasting Finish 25 Hour with Comfort Serum. Um, serum, I think I normally say serum, so I don't know why I just said serum. Weird, moving on. Skin Perfecting Full Coverage Foundation. I have mine in 201 Classic Beige. It doesn't come with a pump, that is kind of frustrating. Um, I will say though, with this one, I feel like I definitely double down on the facial oil before I apply this because this is one that definitely does feel matte on the face. But when I'm wanting like full coverage, if I just feel like my skin is looking like raunch and just not like 
to its full potential which is honestly kind of right now it's kind of ironic that I'm filming a foundation video on a day where I feel like my skin is just very blah looking but I just wanted to sit down and film for you guys and I wanted to do something chatty so hopefully you're not judging me too hard but yeah this is definitely that's something that's more I would kind of Okay, it has the kind of matte feeling that Revlon Colorstay does, which, but something about the way this wears, I feel like the Revlon Colorstay on me, I'm like slipping down on my chair. The Revlon Colorstay almost starts to feel like it's like sucking every bit of like life and moisture on my skin. This is mattifying, but it doesn't do that. Like it looks matte on my skin, but it doesn't feel like it's like sucking everything out. So this is what I'll wear when I want full, full coverage, but I, like I said, I will like double down on the oil, whether I'm using the Jouer Facial Oil or the Tarte Maracuja one. Another full coverage foundation that I love, this is the Cover FX Natural Finish Oil-Free Foundation. I have mine in the shade G30. I actually prefer this over the custom coverage drops. This is a very thick foundation though, so I never wear this on its own. I always mix this with some sort of oil. Lately, I've been using the Tarte Maracuja Oil. This is just the mini version. So what I will do is apply like a tiny squeeze of this onto my hand, and then I'll take a full pump of oil, mix it in, and I love to use the It Cosmetics Dual Ended Foundation Brush. I think it's called like Complexion Something Brush. And I will buff that foundation in, and it just has the most gorgeous coverage ever. I think natural finish is definitely accurate. It's not overly dewy and it's not matte whatsoever. It just looks like very healthy, plump skin. I don't know how it does it, but I swear my skin just looks like healthy and like plump and youthful when I wear this. If you have really oily skin, this may be a great option for you and you just wouldn't have to mix it with the oil. It's not that it's dry, it's just very, very thick. These two foundations probably should have been mentioned in between in the kind of like medium coverage section. This has been holy grail for I don't know how long now. Finally, I made myself put it down for like a week because I was using it every single day. This is the NARS Sheer Glow Foundation. I have mine in the shade Medium One. This foundation is stunning. If you love really thin, liquidy foundations that still give you gorgeous kind of natural coverage, I think you would love this one. In fact, I got my friend Laura hooked back on this. Like she was asking me, why are you using that every day? I'm like, because it's super good. So she's been using it and fell back in love with it as well. This one I feel like was like, a cult favorite for a while and then kind of got pushed back to the back burner. The only thing is you have to buy the pump separately, which I think is total garbage just because if you're going to be spending, I want to say this is like $48 on a foundation, I think it should come with a pump but whatever. It is what it is. So medium to buildable full coverage with a natural finish this one's for you. The final foundation I want to mention is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD. Believe it or not, I don't think I ever had a full size of the original um, HD foundation. I think I had like multiple like minis or something that came from Sephora. Currently I'm using the shade Y245 which was 120 in the original line. Comes with a pump. I love that it's like so lightweight on the skin but still gives you really nice coverage. Um, for a while when this foundation first came out I wasn't a fan of it and I realized it's because I do not like this foundation with a brush. Anytime I use this foundation I have to apply it a certain way otherwise I don't like it which is kind of high maintenance but it's worth it overall because I do like the way it looks on my skin. So what I'll do is I'll take a pump in between my fingers, I'll kind of warm it up. It's a very thin foundation anyways, but I still just like to warm it up and then I'll kind of go through and press it into my face just like the way that I would if I were using some sort of facial oil. Then I'll go in with a really damp beauty blender and just press it right into my skin and blend everything in. I love the coverage, super lightweight on the skin. I do notice though that I feel more comfortable when I apply powder onto my T-zone when using this one. Otherwise, I will notice that I will get kind of some greasy breakdown like on my forehead and my nose. But overall, I do love the coverage of this. Guys, I didn't even tell you what I'm wearing on my face today. I'm actually wearing the CC Plus from It Cosmetics. This is medium though. I mixed um, a bit of the light CC Plus illumination and then a tiny squeeze of this. So that is what I have on my face, if you were wondering. Um, I did apply some powder onto my forehead and my nose and then everywhere else is just like powdered bronzer and contour and all that good stuff. But yeah, those are my current favorite foundations. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Be sure to let me know what your favorite foundation is down below, especially if you have skin types similar to mine. I'm always on the hunt for trying new foundations. If you guys would like to see like my favorite, what could we do? I guess like concealers or like go-to blushes or something next? I don't know. Let your girl know. But I hope you guys are having a great week so far and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.